Hey folks, I'm here with Jeff Kirkham, and Jeff Kirkham, like myself, is a man who wears many, 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 many hats. Well, one of the hats that he wears is the Rayman hat, and we're going to talk today about Plan to Survive. Now, Plan to Survive works in perfectly with the Patriot Fire Team model that we previously discussed. And I wanted Jeff to come on today and basically we're going to discuss what Plan to Survive is and how you can access the educational material. Jeff, thanks for being with me. I appreciate hey, it. Thanks for having us on. You know, the Plan to Survive is the crown jewel of uh, Ready Man. We've been working on it now for three years. Uh, dumped a bunch of resources and time in there to going through and vetting all of the information and, and also keeping it live. So as we learn new stuff, we can add it and um, as stuff gets dated, we subtract it down. So it's pretty cool. So plan to survive and it's going to be plan the number two survive.com uh, is essentially a resource guide or a tool that you can go to on your phone or your iPad or your laptop or whatever to get information about various survival topics. Yep. Not just hurricanes, not just natural disasters, but, and, and it's, it's uh, what well, you say, customizable. It's, it's highly customizable to the person. So Plan to Survive, what it does is, it gives you a roadmap. So a lot of people come up to us all the time and they're like, look, I want to get into emergency preparedness. I don't know where to start. Or we get guys that are already in emergency preparedness and they hit that brick wall because they're like, I don't, I don't know where I should go from here. So what we did with a plan to survive is it's just, it's a little over 1500 skills and pieces of gear that you can go through. It gives you a visual representation of what level you're at. So either level one or level five, and you can go through on this graph and it will tell you immediately and you go through and you can learn all of the different skills as well as see the different pieces of gear that you may need for that. You need, may need water purification or you may need a water container or firearms or ammo or more training. It's, it's, a, it's highly, highly in depth as well as it's customizable to you as a person. So survival up here in the mountains of Utah is different than survival in Florida. So you can go through as it customizes to you, it takes into account what region you're in as well as it may not be just you that needs to survive, it's you and your family. And so if you've got little kids or you've got adults, it takes that into consideration. As well as you can pick your poison. You say, hey, what's the most likely event that is going to cause you to need this emergency preparedness? Out here in Utah, we have zero need to prepare for hurricanes. But down in Florida, there's a big need to prepare for that. And so it takes all of that into account. And then finally, what it takes into account, or also your physical level, um, are you in great shape? Are you in moderate shape? Are you in lousy shape? And then finally, the last thing is it takes your budget into account. Mm -hmm. So if you're on a low budget, you only have a couple hundred bucks a year to spend on this. It takes that into account. So it's more skills based, less information or less gear based. But it takes that into account as well as we've got different levels of, you know, here's a less expensive holster all the way up to the top end holster that you may need for your EDC concealed carry. And then you go through there. And then the other cool thing about the plan to survive is once you go through, you get in there, it's a secure network. So other people that are on the plan to survive, you can reach out to them to start building your emergency preparedness community. Over and over again, we hear how difficult it is to build the community. And here at Ready Man, we're big, big advocates of you can't do it all yourself. No. You've okay. got to have yes. a community. And so this is set up to help establish that community, start learning skills amongst each other, and away you go. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a very, very powerful app. When Jeff introduced us, we knew that this would be perfect for our Patriot Fire Team model. Because why are you involved in the Patriot Fire Team? Why are you interested in it? Because you realize that you can't carry the weight. Or maybe you feel like you're carrying all the weight yourself and you don't want to carry all the weight yourself. Yeah. You need like-minded individuals. You need people that you can rely on because that's the team concept. So. We've got Patriot Fire Team, which we developed, which we've been talking about. We're partnering now with Ready Man and Plan to Survive to put it all together to help you be the best that you can possibly be. A lot of folks out there, they get that feeling there, like yeah. in, in their guts, they're like, I should 
be doing something. But what? <laughs>